Hi everybody, welcome to Vijay Sir Foundation. My name is Manoj Swaminathan and today we are going to learn about the role of medical reviewer in pharmacovigilance. So what do you mean by a medical reviewer and what are the required qualifications? We'll first learn about that. A medical reviewer can be a physician, they can be somebody with a qualification like MBBS, MBBCH or they can even have a higher qualification like an MD or an MS. So in some countries they would say MD is medical doctor, so even that is applicable out here. Then you can even have the dentist serving as the medical reviewers. So they can be BDS or they can be MDS or in some countries they also call it as DDS. So even dentists can serve as medical reviewers. Then you can also have the alternate medicine graduates or even postgraduates like homeopaths. Then you have the herbal medicines and also the Unani medicines. So even they can serve as medical reviewers. Then you can even have nursing graduates serving as medical reviewers. And finally, and this is an emerging trend now, that you can have PharmD professionals serving as medical reviewers. So many companies have now started accepting PharmD uh, graduates as uh, medical reviewers. But out of all these, the most preferred are the ones on, in the first row. So that is MBBS or MD. So those are the most preferred, but then gradually the trend is changing. Now, what is the role of a medical reviewer in pharmacovigilance? We'll learn about that. Primarily, the medical reviewer has a bigger role in case processing or management of ICSRs. We'll learn about all these in detail in the subsequent slides. Then. A medical reviewer also has a great role in the medical review of aggregate safety reports. By aggregate safety reports, I mean the PSURs, the PADERS, the PBERS, and you can even have addendum to clinical overview, or you can even have other such uh, aggregate safety documents. Then a medical reviewer also has a good role in risk management where uh, they can prepare risk management documents. They can even undertake the medical review of the risk management documents. Then the most common, I would say, a physician plays a very important role in signal management. Right? So again, a medical reviewer would play a very important role out here. Then finally, in something called as health hazard assessment. So this is primarily about product recalls, Right? So, where you need to take critical medical decisions. We will learn about this in detail in the subsequent slide. So, first of all, the role of medical reviewer in the case processing or the ICSRs or the individual case safety reports. So, as you can see here, the image, it talks about some kind of a workflow, right? So, a medical reviewer is one of the most important workflow managers in pharmacovigilance. A medical reviewer provides support with regards to validity of case reports. That is if there is any concern or any doubt about case validity, the medical reviewer play a, will play an important role. Then even medical coding. So if the person who undertakes the case processing, that is data entry or quality review, if they have any questions, they would consult the medical reviewer. Then seriousness assessment, right? So here a medical reviewer plays a very important role in upgrading or downgrading the case report. So if uh, the case has been considered as non-serious and the medical reviewer feels that no, it should be upgraded to serious, then they can do it. And even vice versa, that uh, if somebody has coded something as serious, a medical reviewer has a right to downgrade it as non-serious. Then labeling assessment. Now what happens is sometimes the adverse event or the coded term may not be straightforward. And that is where you would have some challenges in finding them 
in the product label and you would have some term which is something similar right so uh, classic example is that of allergic reaction and if the term angioedema is present in the product label the medical reviewer would say yeah allergic reaction is expected so that way uh, a medical reviewer will again play uh, an important role out here then in narrative writing now the medical reviewer has to take the overall accountability of case narratives anything even you talk about uh, narratives for clinical studies right sees and sozars again they play an important role and uh, also the case making sense and also the chronology of events right all the information are uh, appropriately captured in the narrative so all this the medical reviewer needs to take care of then the overall medical sense and accountability of the case report is with the medical reviewer if anything goes wrong the first person to be reached out to is the medical reviewer so that way uh, it's more of accountability and also to ensure that the case report makes appropriate medical sense then how about literature medical review right so this happens when you have a weekly uh, literature monitoring exercise right so this is again mandatory for all the companies when this activity is done you generally have a say a case processing associate undertaking the initial literature search and then they would also undertake the literature review but then it has to be approved by the medical reviewer so again a medical reviewer plays a very important role here now this literature search or processing can be for the case reports or even can be for the aggregate safety reports so again a medical reviewer play, will play an important role out here then signal management right so this is one area where the medical reviewer would play a very important role so they would uh, identify or evaluate if the identified event is a signal or not right and uh, they also play a very important role in case of qualitative assessment right when you have very less number of case reports and you need to undertake the signal assessment so here again the medical reviewer needs to evaluate based on the medical judgment right so apart from this the medical reviewer also has an important role in aggregate safety reports where they would undertake the medical review and also to ensure that the report is uh, adequate or nothing has been missed out then risk management activities so here again a medical reviewer would play a very important role in some companies the medical reviewer would prepare the first draft of the risk management plan or the rems report while in some companies it is the medical reviewer only undertaking the medical assessment of the report just to ensure that the entire report makes appropriate medical sense so this would vary across companies but at the end of the day they need to ensure that the report makes appropriate medical sense then health hazard assessments so these are uh, some aspects which have an interface with the quality right so this is primarily about product recalls okay that if you come across a product complaint right and uh, also uh, while doing the retention sample analysis the company people they identify that there is some issue with the product so all in in such cases the physician or the medical reviewer would play a very important role where they would evaluate whether the there is appropriate benefit risk balance right so if the benefit is more it's okay but then if the risk is more then they would even consider a product recall so here the medical reviewer has to play a very very important role and provide his or her judgment now this is something which also needs to be signed off by the medical reviewer so that's why it is also something which entails lot of accountability right so this is one area where 
there is a very good role of the company physician or and the medical reviewer then what is going to be the future right so in the future it is all going to be artificial intelligence and machine learning so this is something which people are contemplating although we don't know what is going to happen but then at least i have worked as a medical reviewer for almost say a decade so i can always sense that now it's quite expensive to for for companies to hire a, a quite a lot of medical reviewers and also to ensure that all the documents are medically reviewed so that's why companies would also prefer to evaluate if they can bring in some robots right which can uh, um, play the similar role right so that uh, they can save on the cost and also they don't need to be dependent on the medical reviewer so that is something which is now emerging now what they do here is uh, they would uh, train the machine right so or, or you would say the computer based on what assessment has been done all these years right and uh, this primarily in terms of causality assessment where you have uh, say 10000 case reports and how the medical reviewer has undertaken the causality assessment now based on all these reports you would understand how the medical reviewer thinks right so this activity uh, based on this you feed the information on the computer right so something called as machine learning and then gradually the machine learns and uh, then you can try and evaluate with new case reports and whether it gives the same output so this is again a long way to go but uh, companies have already started evaluating this right so that is in short about medical review uh, again a medical reviewer plays a very important role in causality assessment to evaluate whether an adverse event is related to the medicine right or the suspect drug so that is where a medical reviewer needs to ensure that the assessment is adequate or appropriate and has the comprehensive information about the case report so here the medical reviewer may even suggest follow up right so okay please get this additional information so that is again one area where the medical reviewer will play an important role okay. i trust you found this session to be useful and interesting again it is very important that you have a physician or a medical reviewer looking at every report or even case report right so this includes the risk management reports the signal reports the individual case reports so all these activities are duly performed by the medical reviewer so that's something which is very very important feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions comments or even suggestions thank you